Good afternoon from London. It's a dark and dull afternoon here in London. Not yet December 21st, but it certainly feels like it. And hello to all dear comrades, friends and supporters from me, Dr Dermot Hudson, the chairman of the British Group for the Study of the Juche Idea, chairman of the Korean French Association of the UK, an official delegate, KFA for the UK, president of the Association for the Study of Song and Politics, and of course, the owner of this very self-same channel, Songham 007, the militant voice of Songham and Juche here in the UK, defending people's career with no ifs or buts. And today I just want to talk about the uh, publication of a new and enlarged uh, edition of uh, my book, the Great Conspiracy Against People's Korea. Now, I originally wrote this uh, book back in November uh, 2021. Well, in fact, I'd been writing it for a few months before then. And, you know, I think, as everybody knows, uh, it's an, ex an expose of the intrigues, the schemes, the conspiracy to destroy Juche-based socialism in people's career and to turn people's career in uh, to a colony of world imperialism, a colony of the, the IMF, a slave labour colony for uh, US and world imperialism, basically. Uh, so, you know, I wrote this uh, book uh, exposing all the various uh, schemes that have been going on since the foundation of that uh, people's career uh, back in the 1940s. You know, Korea was liberated from Japan by President Kim Il-sung in 1945. And, uh, you know, new people's career came into being and the DPRK itself was founded on September 9th, 1948. Uh, so, you, you know, I'd written that book uh, but I decided I should expand the book I should add new material uh, so one of the changes is I've uh, created a whole new chapter uh, about the fake left against the DPRK and these days uh, the fake left uh, have emerged as a key player uh, in the psychological warfare, the propaganda warfare against people's career. Uh, you know, they're trying to open a new front, whereas where, where the DPRK is attacked, not just from the right, but from the left. And of course, you know, the fake left uh, covers uh, a diversity of labels, or if you like, a multitude of sins. And you, you know, you've got Trotskyites, you got people who are really liberals, but you know, like to call themselves socialists or even communists. Uh, you know, you got anarchists, you got social democrats, you got revisionists, and you've even got a fake ultra left. Yeah, you got um, uh, people uh, who claim they support. Stalin, Mao or Hodja, uh, but uh, attack the uh, DPRK and come out with rubbish like saying it's not socialist or it's revisionist. And of course, ultimately, uh, these people, regardless of what their subjective uh, intention are, do serve uh, imperialism and US imperialism in its campaign at, against people's career. It is it is as simple as that. Uh, so, you know, there's a whole uh, new chapter uh, on that. And uh, there's been mat uh, some material added to the existing uh, chapters. Uh, there's a new uh, appendix uh, to it about uh, 
the South Korean uh, puppets' attempts to uh, uh, destabilize and destroy the DPRK by infiltrating COVID-19 into the DPRK using balloons. Uh, you know, this was done, uh, but fortunately the DPRK was able to uh, uh, stop this, uh, uh, fraught this uh, criminal attempt uh, to cause both death on a white on a big scale and to destabilize the DPRK they were able to stop it and eliminate COVID-19 within the space of about um, 90 days uh, so I've got a small appendix on that and we've also added uh, some uh, material about NK News yes the notorious CIA uh, an NIS and MI6 uh, sponsored uh, uh, propaganda and disinfo front and uh, we reveal for the first time we're not naming the person in the book but we reveal for the first ever time that NK News actually uh, engaged on spying on the uh, KFA UK yes they used to send someone uh, from uh, a country in Scandinavia, someone who was uh, uh, an academic uh, and a researcher and a filmmaker. And, we're not, and I'm, by the way, I'm not talking about Scumbag Larson. I'll say a little bit about him uh, a little, little bit later on. But this was a different character. And for three years, uh, he used to roll up, roll up at KFA UK. Uh, meetings, you know, making an expensive journey from his uh, home country. Uh, and I think after he'd showed up a few times, we got very uh, suspicious of him and wary of him. Uh, you know, we, he was trying to spread anti-DPRK propaganda amongst KFA UK members after the meetings. Uh, and you know it was some time that we uh, later that we found that he'd actually photographed the meetings illicitly and sent the photographs uh, to uh, the head of NK News, Chad O'Carroll, who published them on Twitter. Uh, so you know more yet more spying and dirty tricks by NK News is exposed and. Uh, you know, it's not just a propaganda agency, a sort of uh, fake news agency. It goes well beyond that. It's actually an intelligence agency, a spy group in its own right. It indulges in spying, uh, both on legitimate organisations like KFA UK, uh, but also uh, on the DPRK, uh, you know, uh, their uh, secret correspondent in the DPRK, um, the Australian Sig Sigley, uh, was caught uh, in uh, July or June, yes, June, 25th of June 2019. He was caught and detained and expelled by the DPRK. And uh, those of us who were there in 2018 remember how NK News infiltrated into the DPRK uh, and was spying on different delegations and running about the place, uh, you know, trying to get up to no good. So NK News uh, is a spy agency and very dangerous organisation. Uh, sadly, uh, some uh, people are f still fooled by it. They think it's an independent research organisation or independent news uh, body. It's not. It's actually funded by the US State Department and US Department of Defence. Uh, and many of its staff are actual CIA agents. Uh, so don't get fooled by it. And, you know, funnily enough, tying in with an earlier theme, uh, you know, some of the fake left uh, like to quote rubbish uh, from NK News about so-called market reforms in the DPRK. So it's a very toxic agent uh, organisation. 
and uh, so we hope uh, to get a full color uh, edition of uh, of uh, the great conspiracy against Peter's career out a bit bit later. We we've had enormous problems with uh, Lulu.com in uh, getting this uh, published. Uh, you, you know technical difficulties, uh, but uh, for the time being, uh, you know we got a black and white edition, but we've got our uh, a lot of new graphics in it which are very interesting and one of the things we've done look uh, here is a picture of um, scumbag uh, Larsen of, of the mole in the uniform of the Danish Royal Navy because uh, he was not an actor he was not an ordinary guy uh, you know he was uh, uh, working for the Danish state and for the CIA, and he had actually had, in fact, been in the Danish uh, Navy. And uh, when I encountered him at the KFA International Meeting in Copenhagen uh, in 2019, uh, it was very clear from the conversations that I had with him that this was a, a person who'd been in the armed services very very clear a lot of references were made to the navy and my supposition is that uh, he was uh, he was a junior officer in the danish navy or possibly an nco probably attached to what they call signals uh, or uh, naval intelligence and then went into the danish spy agency and later uh, jointly uh, worked uh, with the CIA in producing uh, the film uh, to which uh, aimed at destroying the KFA but hasn't and they say uh, yes yeah, so I remember uh, seeing one or two parts of the uh, film and uh, you see Larson with his MI5 girlfriend Annie Macron uh, and this this uh, kind of thing and we've also done you know, our graphics designer has done a number of uh, new uh, graphics as well. I don't know if you can see them there. And this one. So this is available now on lulu.com for sale. I'll put a link in the description and you know uh, please 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 buy copies of it you know uh, make an ideal Christmas present for someone uh, so why not buy a copy and the thing is uh, this book and the other books uh, that I've written they all have been written by other people in KFA UK have been collect or been collectively written uh, they need to be sold in far greater numbers you know we need to be selling them not in in ones or twos not in tens but in hundreds and thousands we need to uh, spread the word it's very important indeed uh, so when you finish watching this video please buy a copy tell your friends about it it's very important anyway uh, thank you very much for listening uh, to this video if you're not already a subscriber to this channel Sangam 007 please consider subscribing and to our affiliated channel KFA UK and uh, also you know please uh, support our events uh, online and in real life uh, we'll be having a few of those coming up and you can also donate to KFA uh, UK uh, please contact us for details anyway thank you for watching uh, today have a great day and uh, enjoy the season if you celebrate it uh, goodbye